Data-driven manufacturing uh, simply means that shops and plants are going to use facts and figures to make decisions that control the manufacturing process. Of course, that factual information has to be available so that people, as well as computers, can use that information to make those decisions. I think the trend toward data-driven manufacturing is important because it basically implies that facts are going to be replacing wishful thinking, guesswork, <laughs> unproven theories, even personal opinions as the basis for making decisions about manufacturing. It also means that um, people will have more reliable information on a timely basis. So these decisions are going to be made faster and they're going to be better decisions. Um, I also think that when you have facts available, people ask the right questions and the answers are going to be more reliable. You know, the data that we need to drive manufacturing is going to come from a lot of different sources and it's going to be in a lot of different formats. Of course, you know, the information that's in a digital format is probably going to be the most useful because that's the kind of data that computers can gather and process, store and feed to applications that help us make that information usable. Big data is basically the ability to find trends and emerging patterns that only be detectable by rapidly scanning millions of unstructured data items that are going to be stored in what's called the data cloud. And, and the data cloud refers to these massive networks of shareable computer memory that are shareable and accessible on the internet. So we'll be able to use that information to find out important things about manufacturing not only in our own plants, but what's going on around the world. There are a number of key developments that are going to enable manufacturing to be driven by data. Certainly one of the most important is the introduction of the MT Connect standard. And this is a standard that uh, creates a common format for manufacturing data so that it can be shared between manufacturing equipment and computers for use in the kinds of applications that make this information usable by decision makers on the plant floor. Another important development is the rise of all kinds of intelligent sensors. They're going to make it possible to get lots of different information from machine tools and other manufacturing processes that we never had before. So this is going to give us a much deeper, much clearer picture of what's happening on the plant floor and it's going to enable us to make better, more timely decisions.